Captain Andrews. They say it all started in Egypt 2,000 years ago. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. An Egyptian tomb at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But I'm recording the events as they happened. Though there's no way I can record the human terror of those bizarre few days. And yet, it all started so simply. A stupid dull morning anchored in port. back until she's fully loaded, you hear? Oh, Andy, my boy, it's good to see you. I'd offer you one, but I know how hard you're trying to quit. Thanks, friend. You're all hurt. Now, what's this all about? Some idiot wrote a manifest for the Obia. Says I'm supposed to take eight passengers to Mexico. Yeah, I think I recognize that uh, idiot's handwriting. Looks like mine. Andy. The Mexican has been overbooked by more than a hundred passengers. Now we feel it's our obligation to lay them off on anything that'll float, including the Obia. They're expecting a luxury line, a Thurman, not a converted battle wagon. And you know damn right well that that ship is not fit to leave harbor. Our port engine's down with burnt valves. It'll take Simon two days to fix it when we get the parts. So we'll fly all the parts to Cozumel. He can install them when you lay over there. We are not laying over in Cozumel because we are not going to Cozumel. Andy, just get him there. We're transferring all your passengers in Cozumel. Forget it, pal. Just forget it. There's no way that I'm going to take that ship 800 miles across the Gulf of Mexico on one engine. Andy. The Obia is going to Mexico. Now, the question is, are you going to take her? Or am I going to have to put some ham-handed river jockey on the bridge of your ship? Because if I have to do that, you're never going to run a ship for this line again. Thanks, friend. Yeah, I am your friend. So now, what is it going to be? Are you going to take the Obia to Mexico? Or are you going to look for a job in the Bolivian Navy? You can board her now. God save my soul. Hello. Name's Karina, missus. But I call her the old sourpuss. <laughs> Oh, she's sweet. Does she belong to the ship? Oh, no, Mom. More like the ship belonged to her, Mrs. In fact, I think she's looking for somebody. Oh, isn't everyone? The Obia, Mrs. Not exactly the Queen Mary. Oh, that's okay, Nathan. I'm not exactly the Prince of Wales. Nathan? Yes, Mrs. We'll probably be running into each other quite a bit on this trip. So I'd like to get one thing straight right from the start. I am not Mrs. 
I have been unmisses now for three weeks, five days, several hours, and I'm beginning to like the idea. Oh, then I call you unmisses. <laughs> right. And Nathan, since you are the social director, you be sure and direct some social my way. Ah, for you and Mrs., that be easy. <laughs> now, I'm very careful, Ben Langley. Si, senor. No problem. Set them down carefully and be sure to count them. There should be nine. What's all this? Oh, uh, my luggage, my tools, practically my worldly possessions. You, I take it to Captain Andrews. How do you do? I'm Bakun. Dr. Isaiah Baku. The doctor, we're not following Stanley into Africa. We're just going to Mexico. Yes, but you'll be leaving soon. I won't. I'll be leaving your vessel in Cozumel for a much longer stay. Are you with one of the medical missions, doctor? Well, no, I'm not that sort of a doctor, Captain. My patients are beyond medical help. I'm an archaeologist. Take two aspirins and call me in a thousand years. Is that it? might say so, yes. I'll give you a hand, sir. Thank you. Right down the gangplank. Thank you, Captain. Who picked this ship, Captain Bly? For the amount of money I'm paying, we could have the presidential suite. Oh, come on, honey, relax. It's only for a few days, and then we transfer to that floating palace I was telling you about. Yeah, and in a few days, my partner's capable of bringing a stock market crash all by himself. I don't know how I let you talk me into this cruise. Oh, come on, honey. Relax. Listen, we haven't had a vacation together in a long time. Forget about what's going on back home. If I could forget about what's going on at home, I wouldn't be thinking about it, right? Look, give me a little longer to unwind. I've been giving you a little longer to unwind, Neil, for a long time now. It just seems like you have time for everything but me. Sandy, of all people, you should know how tough and demanding the brokerage business is. I can't flick a switch and forget about it. Listen, why don't I go topside and get us a couple of drinks? I think both of us can use one. Are you sure this is it, Jude? Well, it's Pier 32. This has got to be it. Doesn't look like much, does it? Well... Hmm. Looks pretty good to me. Good morning, ladies. You must be, uh... Judy Hayne. Hi, Hello. Debbie Porter. Welcome to the Opia. I'm Simon McLean, first officer, pharmacist mate, and chief mechanic at your service. Hmm. Does that include room service? <laughs> well, that depends on whose room and what kind of service. Oh. Come on aboard. Sure. I know that this is only for three days, but... Well, the Obia may not be much of a looker, but uh, she's got a great personality. <laughs> Come on, I'll show it to your cabin. You can freshen up. Hmm. Freshen up what? Judy, you are awful. Captain? Morning, Reverend. More customers, Captain? The Reverend Mather and his wife. Minister. Think he's come to save our souls? Does your soul need saving? <laughs> I'm afraid there's not that much left to save. Well, we'll do our best to save his life. Captain! 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 
<laughs> Though I missed the boat. Ship. That's what I said. I was on a different boat. I... Ship. Anyhow, all this confusion. Mr. Uh... Lazarus. Matt Lazarus got my transfer ticket right for some place. I know it. I think it's on the other boat. Can you hang on to this stuff? I'll just dash right... I'm afraid we haven't got time for that, Mr. Lazarus. We're late as it is. But I'll tell you what, you uh, come on board. As soon as we shove off, I'll radio for your verification. If you're not listed, we'll just throw you over. Okay. Uh. You gonna hold your breath forever? Oh, just meeting and greeting some of the passengers. Uh, blonde or brunette? Uh, both. But I also hooked up that T-valve you wanted. I still don't like it, Andy. The best we can do on one engine is eight knots. There's something else that will make you happy. Squalls. System's moving in from the southeast, four to six knots. I think we should have calm seas all the way to Desterada. Should. Andy, that storm picks up two knots. We'll never outrun it. And I suggest we shove off and get a good head start. for some time. Now, that's sexy. What is it? It's a, uh, a circuit diagram of a computer that uh, generates a graphic display of the theoretical path of subatomic particles. They're called quarks. See, I guess I was absent that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a physicist, sir? Well, well sort of. I'm, I'm really into mathematics, Professor Bakun. Oh, you know me. My reputation, of course, and, and in your books on the Mayan-Egyptian cross-culturalization. That's it. That's where I know you from. Dr. Isaiah Bakun, anthropologist, archaeologist, biblical scholar. This is an honor, sir. I'm afraid you're one of the few who think so. Well, surely, Professor, you don't mean that. You think not? I spent my entire life gathering proof that the ancient Egyptians sailed to Mexico 2,000 years ago. 